she makes fun of us. She says we're kid core, <laughs> which is like, I was like, cool. I I'm thought like, that, that was good. That sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we were just kind of like group chatting and just talking about um, things and Jojo's name popped up. And so I, I've known her since she was tiny, like hey, I used to go to her dance studio and set pieces. And I was like, actually, let me text her because I know she's a huge Teen Beach fan. And we originally were like, hey, should we do like a Teen Beach collab? And it was actually supposed to happen um, before, uh, like right before Christmas, but then she got COVID. So then it got postponed. We hadn't even made like Pride House yet. It wasn't even it like wasn't a it, a hand, the handle wasn't even a thing yet. So then we waited till after the new year. And then really like none of the other castmates could come because they were busy with other work jobs. And so it was just us. And we had just started Pride House LA, like maybe like a week or two before. On Jekka's birthday. Or actually, actually yeah. I was like, today, the, today was Is the day. One year? Yeah, we, uh, the day after my birthday a year ago was when we made Since that. We went so viral. a year ago yeah. today is when we went viral with yeah. JoJo. Yes. We were at yeah. JoJo's house. Um, and then we were like, hey, let's do one for Pride House because we just, you know, and she didn't tell us that she was gay. She said that she was like trying to, but she would like, she didn't know how. There was like how. a moment. Where yeah. Was, like, you know, really... And we had already done this TikTok. And we, were, we didn't and we were think dancing, it was like a gay know? Yeah, yeah. And it was like, just one we didn't have to learn. You just had to like learn the lyrics. And then it was like. Dee, 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 yeah. Dee. I'm telling you, the space we create when we come over to, to people that are like questioning or in the community, we really do a, a good job of. Of, of allowing a flow and a natural yeah. thing to occur. And uh, we want you to feel safe, but we for sure speak our queer stories, like yeah. just by walking, like we're talking, <laughs> like we are, I don't know. Yeah, just like how <laughs> we make people feel is, is fun. Like her brand, right? Like she just turned 18 and, you know, although we are adults, we still have that very <laughs> youthful kind of like, and we're very positive and of course maybe we stray away with certain subjects like our podcast or you know we swear I don't know something like that but then yeah we're adults but we still have that you young kind of like you know one of that, our yeah. one of our assistants our dance assistants she's 15 her name is Emily she makes fun of us she says we're kid core <laughs> which is like I was like cool I I'm thought like, that, that was sounds good. cool to me I don't know <laughs> They were on a movie together called Teen Beach Movie, but we've also been friends uh, way, way, way before that. I've known Kent uh, way before, yeah. 2009? Yeah, something 2000. like that. And me and Molly met originally in 2009, but we didn't start dating until 2013. Mm. And we've been married for almost He tried, five. though. He tried. I did. <laughs> he tried for it a few years. Years. I was persistent. <laughs> um, and then one day, over the quarantine, obviously, like, everyone got TikTok, so it was like, let's start making some content and see like what happens. And Molly was like, oh, my Teen Beach movie, uh, Teen Beach movie TikTok popped off and then noticed that Kent and uh, one of our other friends were also making TikToks. <laughs> and then we, they got together and we're like, let's go to the beach. And let's TikTok's go viral. <laughs> yeah, and then they did one and then- And it worked, all it was sudden, fun. It was during yeah. the pandemic, yeah. we're all artists. So and something it's... that like connected us all, we're like, oh, we're all um, LGBTQ. And we're all like kind of old too. So we're like, let's learn this. Not thing. kind <laughs> of, we old. are all- Well, we just had an amazing guest, Fiona Dawson, who was really educational. She was a director, uh, a producer, producer, creator. She directed a documentary called Trans Military. It's out on Apple, right? Or, uh, or anywhere, awesome. but it's, yeah, yeah. it's really interesting. It got like a 90... 90 percent on rotten tomatoes or 99 or something really high and it was just really educational talking to her she's got a great grasp on just our community and understanding the flow to it i think that's what i'm excited to talk about is how to be that space for our queer community how we evolve how we learn how we change and just continue opening up conversations for people all around the world to hear us love us you know, normalize and like, want us to be community. in their community wherever that is you know like I want to be able to go to church I want to be able to go yeah. here I want to be and and I want uh, my whole family or everyone in the community to feel safe and to feel welcomed and to feel loved she's also like everyone British else and had a really cool accent yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we're 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 gonna see some cool people and some and we want to go overseas we want to do it all I think yeah but into comics just gonna be educational stuff and then we're gonna I'm sure be doing crazy stuff I feel like that's, that's a good one. I think um, the the behind the scenes of everything, like 
Kent sending me a video, Jack is sending uh, Kent a video, like, hey, this idea. And we have a group chat <laughs> and it's called Brad House. <laughs> we are, we are constantly like texting and texting and texting about content, who collab, like what collabs we're going to get. And then we are here every day and we just go out. All right. Who's got videos today? Yeah. It depends on the trends. We look at the trends, but like our formula pretty much stays the same. Yeah. We're de- like our audience definitely likes to watch us um, rather than like buy from us or um, like but, listen. But to- they can buy from us. <laughs> yeah. Prana. Pride to me means uh, uh, being vulnerable and open and, and loving self-love and loving who you are and spreading that love. I think pride is definitely like, I just picture like a rainbow and just like shining it at everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just, yeah. Spreading, and, yeah. Yeah, spreading that. the love. Yeah, I spreading love the love and self-love. I think that's the most important thing.